Hi, I'm Melissa from iHeart 4th Grade. Now that we've set up your Boom account, we're ready to start setting up your Boom classrooms and adding students. I've seen teachers do this multiple ways. Whether you're in a departmentalized setting or a self-contained setting, however you want to set up your classrooms is up to you. Whether you need students to move seamlessly from group to group based on their ability level, once you've added that student into your Boom Learning account, it's easy to move them from group to group. So let's get started setting up your first Boom Learning classroom. You're going to visit boomlearning.com to set up your Boom classroom. Once you log in, you're going to want to go up to your blue margin and click where it says Classes. I'm currently logged into the account that I use with my own students, so I already have three classrooms set up based on the blocks that I have the students. But for this video, I'm going to create a new classroom by clicking on the blue icon. Here they've given it the name 5th Grade Maths Class. So I'm going to change the title of this class by clicking directly on the title and the white box will appear. So I'm going to call this New Classroom for this video. Here, these are all the options that I can have with this classroom. I can click on add one student to add one student at a time and their password, or I can click add many students. This is the fastest way. So I'm gonna click add many students and I'm gonna add just a few. Oh, let's put a comma, put a comma in between to separate the names. And I need to give it a default password when I'm setting up this way. But the students can go in and change the password or I can change the passwords to something different. So I'm just going to type in ABC and add students. It's really fast. You'll see that all the students that I just added show up in my new classroom. I have a total of seven students. Now let's say that I by mistake put Ashlyn in the wrong class and I need to move her from the new classroom into my third block. I'm going to click on the plus next to Ashlyn's name and I'm going to select move and I can put her into my third block and that does not affect any of her login information. I just moved her, maybe she had a schedule change or I wanted to move her into a different group. Now, since all of these students have a generic password, I can let them change their password themselves, or I can change it to something that's more customized to them. So if I wanted to go in and change each student's password myself, or I need to reset it because they forgot it, I'm going to hit the plus symbol next to their name, and where it says password, I can change their password and it will be effective immediately. So here I've shown you how to set up the classroom and how to move students and how to change students. Now I need to show you how to have students log into their very own Boom account. Now we can do this a couple of ways. You can have the students log in to their classroom where they can see all of the students or we can have them log in so they only see their own name. So I'm gonna show you both ways and you can determine which is the best for you. So right here in my new classroom, this username's a little crazy. So I'm gonna click on it and change it to something that my students might be able to remember. So I'm gonna call this new classroom. And this password is also not something they're going to remember. So maybe I'm gonna change it to my last name. Okay, and students will type in this username and this password to sign in. So I'm gonna show you what they say. Your account and added students into your classroom, you're ready for the students to log in and start working on their assignments. So I wanna show you a couple of ways that you can have the students sign in so you can determine for yourself what is the best option for your students? So your students can either click on the sign in up at the blue margin or they could click on the green student sign in button. For our classroom that we just set up, we gave it a title and we changed the name. So we're gonna type in the title of our classroom and the password and click sign in. 
with this option, the students can see all of the other classmates that are in this classroom. So if Dave wanted to sign into his account, he would click on his name and he would type in his password. And now he's logged into his own account and his assignments would show up right here. And when Dave was ready to sign out, he could either click on the red sign out or go up to the three lines and click sign out. In the past, this is the way that my students have logged in. Going forward, I'm going to set up individual accounts so that way they can only see their own names. Now let's go back into the teacher dashboard and show you how to change the students' individual names so they log in as themselves and they can't see the other classmates in their Boom Learning classroom. Now I'm back inside my teacher dashboard on Boom Learning and I'm going to go back into this new classroom by clicking on the plus symbol. And I want the students to be logged in as themselves and not see all the other classmates inside their new classroom. So I'm going to go back to Dave and where you see student username, I'm going to change this. Maybe his last name starts with a B and he has a student number. So I'm going to change that to his username and I'm going to set up a personal password. For this video, we're just gonna call him Dave and click OK. Now, when the student logs in, they're gonna either click on the green student sign-in or the sign-in in the blue margin. And for the username, he's gonna type in his name and his password and he will log in directly into his own account and not see any of his classmates. So even if they see their classmates, they can't necessarily get into their account unless they know their password, but I just like this option more. It'll take a little bit longer on the front end to set up and change everybody's username and password, but I think this is the best fit for my classes going forward. Now that we've set up our classrooms, and added our students, we're ready to move on and start adding assignments. Make sure to check out the next video on how to add assignments to your classroom. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me either on email, Facebook, or Instagram.